What's up guys, after a four year hiatus from Jiu Jitsu competition, I made my return against the 10th planet black belt, Cesar Bonilla, for the ASG Champion of the North title. Cesar is one of Toronto's most active competitors and is known for his devastating lockdown and tremendous top pressure. Cesar weighed in at 228 pounds and I weighed in at 193 pounds. A bit of a size difference but I believe in my skills and happily accepted the challenge. Make sure to watch my wrestling for Jiu Jitsu video if you haven't yet, as it provides more context to what I explain here like what we're fighting for within the grip battle, which is largely inside position by way of collar ties or underhooks. Right now I have outside position with my right arm, so I try to shrug my shoulder to rid myself of Caesar's collar tie and establish an underhook, but Caesar maintains inside position with his left arm and is able to take an underhook as a result. An underhook is a dominant grip and even Caesar winning such a small battle fired me up as my goal is to always win every exchange and win every second of every round of the match. I want to get Caesar tired, especially before we hit the ground. My plan is to dominate with collar ties and take double collar ties so Caesar needs to be constantly working to stay postured up and always working to rid himself of my grips. I take a half ass shot to assess his timing and reaction speed. He's definitely fast to get his hips out of reach. I attempt a fake guard pull ankle pick which you often see me do against big guys as it's a really easy way to hit a takedown, but it's much harder no gi rather than gi. It's not only a battle of grips but there's also a battle of ring positioning. There's a mental battle within who can push the other one back and dominate the center of the ring. Being the smaller guy, I want to stand my ground and show Caesar I won't be pushed around. I try to back up as little as possible, only when I have to as I don't want to expend too much energy getting into an ego battle. It's a balance between asserting myself and not expending too much energy to do so. I was really confident in my conditioning as I followed the program laid out by Kieran Lefebvre in our new Jiu-Jitsu Performance Longevity course. It covers mat safety, strength and conditioning, nutrition, and mobility. Check that out and make sure to get my free mat safety guide for Jiu-Jitsu ebook. The link is in the description. I start trying to be a bit more dynamic and using movement to see how Caesar responds, but I'm not getting much. During this whole match, I'm trying to take in data to see what the path of these resistance is. My game plan for the match was exactly this, to not rush a takedown, but rather take in data and adjust as needed and pull guard if I can't find a low risk way to get him to the ground. While I take in data, I'm also trying to tire Caesar out as much as I can before we get to the ground. As I know if I make one wrong movement on the ground and end up in bottom side control or mount, it'll be incredibly difficult and energy demanding to escape while he's fresh. I know if I can tire him out a bit standing, I can be a little more relaxed and looser on the ground. I actually have a new wrestling coach at my gym, which is pretty amazing because I've been without any sort of wrestling guidance for a very long time, and it was really nice to strategize with him, so thank you David. Here I level change to see Caesar's reaction, which there isn't much of one. Caesar is playing very cautiously and defensively and I do everything that I can to create movement and openings without getting myself out of position, which could lead to me getting taken down. I'm starting to think that it may be best to pull guard even though I'd rather be on top, so I test out his reaction to a guard pull by briefly sitting down, but then shoot in as he's kind of lulled into a false sense of security that I'm looking to pull guard. To enter into the shot, I try to lift his arms up as he's reaching for a collar tie so I can shoot underneath his elbows. I go for the double but immediately switch to the body block but I'm unable to get an angle on him. In hindsight, I maybe should have switched back to the double or single instead of chasing the angle and failing. Caesar felt like a brick wall and when I shot, I hurt my neck a little bit. I started to hear Caesar breathing, not super heavy but heavy enough where I wasn't as worried about being on the bottom so I figured it was time to pull guard and get to the ground. The issue is that Caesar still feels like a brick wall on the ground too and I feel as if he's playing more of a game to shut me down rather than assert his own offense. So I transition into close guard as I feel it'd be hard for me to move him around and create openings within my half guard. He's stopping me from going first and really shutting my game down so I need to give him a reason to go first so I can attack him while he's attacking me. He's not trying to pass with my legs closed so I open them hoping he'll take the bait which he does. I initially go for a guillotine right away but he's keeping his shoulder glued to his chin so I wait until I can sit out more to get underneath it. Instead of attacking the guillotine I use the grip to sit out and come around to the body block as Caesar turtles. You can see I'm a little tense here as I'm trying my best not to make a mistake as I finally gain the upper hand positionally. Normally I'm all about taking the back but against Caesar I really want to have mount instead as he has a really thick neck that'll be hard to get underneath and from the back I have to carry his weight which could tire me out. I know it's going to be tough to get a submission especially because Caesar's looking to defend more so than he is to escape but I can't just sit here and do nothing it's not my style and I want to put on a show. I need to free myself of Caesar's grips and take dominant grips on him so I retract my right hand then use it to pass his right hand to my left. Now I can trap his arm with my top hook and make it easier for me to get underneath his chin. But that's proving difficult so I try to slide in my left arm as he's defending and worried about my right arm. The back is proving hard to attack from so I try to transition to mount. But that does not go as planned and I end up with him taking a body block on me. I tried to elevate him with my butterfly hook so I could come up to mount but Caesar was way too powerful and bridge more powerful than anyone I've ever felt before. 
What saved me from getting smashed was getting my knee out from underneath him and onto the mat. If I would've got stuck right here, I'd be in the side smash with Caesar having a body block. This would've sucked big time. The move that made all the difference in the match was this right here. Getting my knees to the mat, this saved me. This was pretty frustrating to go from a great position on the back to Caesar having a body block on me. I'll just be quiet so we can watch and then I'll break this down. I walk to the center so I can be in frame and get the room I need to execute the roll. And then I go completely inverted and push Caesar forward using my hamstring. You can only get this if they're stepping behind you with one leg between yours. Initially, I'm unsure if he taps or not based off the rest reaction, but I don't have the proper angle on his leg yet, so I'm a bit confused. I carry on and adjust the angle of Caesar's foot, and then it's over. Did you guys enjoy this video and want to see me compete again? I've been thinking about doing the ADCC trials, so let me know if you think I should. Have you competed yet? How did your first tournament go? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to check out Less Impressed, More Involves breakdown of this match too. Jake is absolutely killing it on YouTube, and he's one of my favorite jiu-jitsu channels. I highly recommend both checking out his video and subscribing to his channel. As always, I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons who support the channel. You guys are awesome and make the channel possible. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. If you're still here, please leave a comment or a fist bump, and I'll see you guys next time.